This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. What's going on, y'all? First and foremost, I want to give a big thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. It was a no brainer for me because I constantly talk about not letting finances get in the way of your creative inspirations as an artist. If you need 4K drone footage in a different city, they got you. Whatever it is you're shooting, they have options and all of it is royalty free. They also have a huge library of royalty free music. It's such a great hub for whatever high quality content you may need. Their subscription is very affordable and it allows you to get an unlimited amount of access to the site, unlimited amount of downloads for whatever content you may need. You get everything. For more information, visit storyblocks.com slash Mike Gray. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. I'll get that little, get that little speck. That's gonna be such a cool shot. Cause we're back. So we have a special video today. This is story time with Mike. With the Pentax, it was a bit easier because we are shooting on 220 film. I don't know too much about 220 film, but what I do know is I think you get 20 shots. I'm not sure. I didn't do my research, so don't count me on that. But just to switch it from 120 to 220, you take the film back, you pop that open, and all you have to do is slide this plate to the right for 220, you slide it to the left for 120, and there's a dial on the right side of the camera which I had to unscrew, and I had to switch it from the 120 dial to the 220. And that's it, it's pretty simple. I will be shooting the expired film on this camera only because the process was a bit more simpler than the Mamiya 7. With this, you have to unscrew the plate, flip it around. So I didn't want to do all that with this camera. This is an expensive camera and it's not mine. So I didn't want to stress this camera out by doing so. So we're going to shoot regular portrait on this camera. Uh, let's see, at 125th. Oh yeah, sunny 16, baby. Sunny 16, y'all know that rule. We're shooting on portrait 160. The sun is coming right here, 125th of a second at 16 f-stop aperture. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. It's been like a month since I've taught camera talk, so y'all got to bear with me on this. It's just so smooth sounding. It's, this camera, it feels so smooth. We're shooting that with the 80 millimeter lens on this bad boy. And uh, yeah, this this will be fun. This camera is sexy. This is a sexy ass camera. I'm gonna shoot on the Portra 160 VC 220 film. This film was expired March of 2005. So it's been a minute. That's dope. Okay. You know what the cap to the back means? It means business. <laughs> I have to go in my outfit. You do? Being in the grass. <laughs> in the nature of the sun. Okay. Yeah, hold that. All right, look at me. All right, we'll pull the Mamiya 7 back out. I don't know how to function the light meter reading, but it's okay. <laughs> Somebody's coming out. All right. You did great for the first trial. Thank you. That felt really good. What Being did? In the grass. Oh, it did it? So it was a good idea to go there first. Yes. I told you. Excellent idea. See, and worst, worst come to worst, you know, if we don't get anything at the beach, which we will, we got some other options. My guess is that the regular film is gonna look better anyways. You think so, Davis? Yeah. Yeah. So it's all good. I'm glad I got this water. Damn. 
people in Manhattan Beach are going to be like, oh my god, you look so pretty. Oh, sh- What's your, what are you guys shooting? They do be having like a little southern accent over there. Yeah, they definitely it's do. so weird. We're here in Manhattan Beach where it's about 60 degrees. It's cold as hell. Joy's about to have to hop her ass in that ocean and she's going to be freezing. Um, I had to throw on a hoodie clearly and uh, the weather's beautiful though. I honestly am curious to see how this film reacts because it's not super sunny, which I kind of preferred, I'd rather it be a little bit gloomy like this. I think it'll add a dope feel and effect. So uh, we're gonna see what we get out of it. Damn, I ain't clipped my toenails though. My toes, y'all like, all right. I'm sinking these toes in this sand right here. Yeah, these toes are getting sunken in the sand. I feel like I'm about to die from hypothermia. You're about to die from hypothermia? Why? Because I'm about to get in this cold water. But I actually don't mind. You don't? I just, I just feel like I'm going to die. No, you'll be all right. You brought a towel, right? We just, oh, I brought three. Okay, cool. <laughs> as long as she brought, she says she brought three towels, so and we should be good. I brought sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Okay. All right. Look, I'm game. Life is short, okay? So all right. I'm not I'm with it. Let's all right. go. All right. <laughs> So we got the Sekonic light meter, the L308XU, whatever that means. But this is the light meter that I use for everything. The highlights and whatever. I just meter for the sun. I really don't know what the hell I'd be talking about. She's saying her prayers over there. She already knows it's about to go down. Okay, Davis, you choose. You choose. Expired film first or Mamiya 7 first? Okay. So, this is what it is. This is where I need to explain to you my methods. So, you're killing it. You're, you're crushing the poses, okay? but I need you to hold one at a time because I'm not shooting digital, so you, you just gotta stay. I'll, I'll let you know when to change your pose, okay? Yell it, because I can't hear it from okay. that far. Okay, I'll yell it. All right, so I'm gonna yell it when she needs to change the pose. All right, so now we're about to get this Mamiya 7. Once I um, use it more, you know what I'm saying? It, it won't be a problem, but right now I just, damn. I don't know how these photos are gonna turn out, but it's no pressure. I'm always learning, so. I just wanna let y'all know, this is the game plan. When we're done, I need that those towels to run in. Okay. I need to undress. Okay. I need to dry my body, put on my sweats. Be on okay, the, that's fine. I don't play with the cold. That's fine. I do not play with the cold. Okay, it's cool. Okay. It's cool. But I'm excited to do this. Me too. <laughs> Chamomile tea. It's nighttime, so you know you gotta get right with it. What's going on guys? We are finally back. I know it's been a long time. It seems like a long time to me. Um, about a month, I feel good, I feel better. I'm so happy to be back on the platform and to connect with you guys. Now I'm back, I'm back and I'm better, I'm feeling good. First off, I wanna thank Joy for being such an amazing model. As y'all already know, we use the Pentax 6-7 per usual and we had a new camera this time. We had the Mamiya 7 II, which is such a clean camera. It's funny because I've watched so many videos and I've seen so many dope results from this camera. But I've always been intimidated by it because I'm not used to using rangefinder and I've always 
you know, not been too much in a rush to try it. For the film, we shot on Portra 160 VC, expired in 2005. And I shot that on the Pentax 67, which is a 220 film. And on the Mia 7, we shot Portra 160 the entire time. Y'all already know some of the Portra, I did switch to black and white, but yeah. At this point, I just, I'm gonna just keep doing what I wanna do. Uh, <laughs> I almost forced myself to get comfortable with rangefinder because for the Pentax, I needed the screw to switch the lever to 220 and I left that screwdriver here at the house. So I only had 20 shots in the Pentax and if I wanted to shoot anything else with Portrait, it had to be on the Mamiya 7. So I didn't know what to expect. I definitely didn't know what to expect from that expired film. Usually in the past, guys, y'all already know, I'm pretty familiar with Portrait and I'm pretty familiar with my Pentax. And I usually know what I'm gonna get and, and how certain images that I've taken are gonna look and post. I had no damn clue what the hell to expect with this 220 expire film. It, it was so dope because it added that excitement for when I got the scans back. Now I will say for the 220 film, I got them developed at the lab because I didn't want to risk under exposing it too much in processing with the expired film i just wanted to do it the right way and it was 220 so the, the the pushing of the film i was just like let me take it to the lab i will say though for 220 film it is a bit more expensive it, instead of you know the normal price it was like 20 dollars more or 30 dollars more for the 220 so just keep that in mind if you plan on shooting expired film i noticed that there was a hint of like a greenish hue like a green a green tint on the skin i wanted to keep the expired film as natural as possible i didn't want to do too much manipulation because i wanted to keep it true this film was sick man i, I really love the effect that i got one of my favorite photos from this shoot was of joy with her head back on the 220 film i decided to make it square because i framed her body to the right a little bit too much so 6-6 six, six just made more sense for the composition sake i just the colors that the effect that i got from that 220 film it just all made sense and it came together really nice the silhouette shot man that's definitely one of my favorites from portra <laughs> of course i wanted to get a good shot but the expectations that i usually have for, for my images were, were brought down a little bit just because I really had no clue what to expect. I didn't even know if I was gonna get frames back from the expired film. So the fact that we got something back was just pretty impressive to me. They need to bring 220 back because I just love having 20 frames. I wanna thank Storyblocks again for sponsoring this video. I would love to hear your experience of, of shooting with uh, expired film. That Mamiya 7, man. What What's, what's y'all's take on that Mamiya 7? I love it. I, for me, I've just really, really, really rooted and locked in with that Pentax and that for me is my camera. That's the camera I love and that's the camera that I'm so comfortable with and I will always shoot that. I'm getting comfortable with the Mamiya 7. I'm getting comfortable with rangefinder. Like I said, it's a sexy ass camera, so let me know if you guys have shot with the Mamiya 7. I'd love to hear your experience with it. Like the video if you rocked with it. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos. Please, I appreciate you guys. We at 15K. We're about to get them subs going back up. I know it's slowed down a little bit, but your boy's back. I appreciate you guys for staying tapped in with me and engaging with me even when I was down. I appreciate y'all so much and I cherish you guys so much. I'll see y'all next week, man.